Sicotioid fungi are an intermediate growth form between mushroom-like hymenomycetes and closed-bag-shaped gastromycetes, where an evolutionary process of gastromycetation has started but not run to completion. Sicotioid fungi may or may not have opening caps, but in any case they often lack the vertical geotropic orientation of the hymenophore needed to allow the spores to be dispersed by wind, and the basidiospores are not forcibly discharged or otherwise prevented from being dispersed e.g. gills completely enclosed and never exposed as in the sicotioid form of Lentinus tigrinus. Note some mycologists do not consider a species to be sicotioid unless it has lost ballistospori. Explanation of sicotioid development and gastromycetation Historically agarix and bolets, which bear their spores on a hymenium of gills or tubes respectively, were classified quite separately from the gastroid fungi, such as puff balls and truffles, of which the spores are formed in a large mass enclosed in an outer skin. However, in spite of this apparently very great difference in form, recent mycological research, both at microscopic and molecular level has shown that sometimes species of open mushrooms are much more closely related to particular species of gastroid fungi than they are to each other. Fungi which do not open up to let their spores be dispersed in the air, but which show a clear morphological relation to agarix or bolets, constitute an intermediate form and are called sicotioid. The word is derived from the name of the genus Sicotium, which contains such species. On a microscopic scale, sicotioid fungi do not expel their spores forcibly from the basidium and so the spores are statismospores. Like gastroid fungi, sicotioid ones rely on animals such as rodents or insects to distribute their spores. It seems that sometimes it can be disadvantageous for a mushroom to open up and free its spores in the usual way. If this development is aborted, a sicotioid form arises, perhaps to be followed eventually by an evolutionary progression to a fully gastroid form. This type of progression is called gastromycetation and seems to have happened several times independently starting from various genera of normal mushrooms. This means that the sicotioid and also the gastroid fungi are polyphyletic. According to the paper by Thiers, in certain climates and certain seasons, it may be an advantage to remain closed because moisture can be conserved in that way. There is a spectrum of sicotioid species ranging from the open form to the closed form in the following respects. There may be an evidence type, or there may be only a remnant consisting of a column of non-fertile tissue. If there is a stipe, the edge of the cap may separate from it, partially opening, or may not. There may be recognizable gills, though oriented in all directions and very convoluted, or the fertile interior may be uniform like the gleba of gastroid fungi, and the spore-bearing tissue may be above ground, epigeus, or underground, hypogeus, or partly buried. The adjective sequestrate is sometimes used as a general term to mean either sicotioid or gastroid. Examples for example, the sicotioid genus Hymenogaster has been shown to be closely related to agaric genera such as Hevoloma, which were formerly placed in family Cordonariaceae or Strophariaceae. This is found by DNA analysis and also indicated on a microscopic scale by the resemblance of the spores and basidia. According to a current classification system, Hevoloma now belongs to family Hymenogastraceae, and is considered more narrowly related to the closed Hymenogaster fungi than, for instance, to the ordinary mushrooms in genus Cordinarius, a similar case is the well-known deceiver mushroom Lacaria lacata which is now classified in the Hydnangiaceae, Hydnangium being a gastroid genus. Cordinarius is a very widespread genus of agarix, but also contains some sicotioid species, such as C. leucocephalus, C. conei and C. cartilagineus. Sicotioid genus Nivitogastrium corresponds to agaric genus Foliota and provides a vivid example of the phenomenon. It has been found that a change in a single locus of a gene of the gilled mushroom Lentinus tigrinus causes it to have a closed fruiting body. 
This suggests that the emergence of a Sicotioid species may not require many mutations. Gastrobolitis is a Sicotioid bolete genus where the fruiting bodies may or may not open, but in any case the tubes are not aligned vertically as in a true bolete. Agaricus deserticola is a Sicotioid species of Agaricus, the genus of common cultivated mushrooms, which at one time was placed in the genus Sicotium. Similarly, Agaricus anapertus was formerly known as Endopticum depressum until molecular analysis revealed it to be closely aligned with Agaricus. References, <references>